Hi guys, my name is Arvind and in this video I will be talking about my self-improvement journey and how I improved my life. So let's get started and so giving, uh, so if I were to give an introduction again, I would say that I am an Indian, I am currently an international student in Canada and I am here doing a course and my reasons for doing this is because I want to help other people who are just like me, who are stuck and who are trying to make, uh, you know, like get out of this shit hole. And also I have an amazing story and quite a few thoughts about, to share with you guys. So let's move on. Moving on to my life before self-improvement, I was a Jeffrey. And I would like, I have made this, uh, I have this observation that I want to share with you guys. You don't realize that you are a Jeffrey until Adonis starts sprouting inside you. So let me say that once again, you don't, you don't realize that you are a Jeffrey until Adonis starts sprouting inside you. So, you know, that's something that I've learned recently. And so what, how was my life as a Jeffrey? I had no charisma, I had no self-confidence, but I had the ability to talk to women when I wanted to. And I only used to talk to them if I really needed to. I didn't know how to take things to the next level or at the end that made me end up as a friend for just every one of them. And if I were to say about my past, my life was ex extremely smooth until the age of 30, until porn entered my life. And uh, from then onwards, everything became, my entire puberty was, you know, like going downhill. And another observation that I made about porn. You know, pornography is so big that it feels like you're standing in front of a tsunami. And when you're in front of the tsunami, you don't have any safety gear, you, you don't have any escape boats. You oh, and you are completely alone. You have no one around you and you're just waiting for the tsunami to take you down. So that's how, you know, porn affects us. It wrecks havoc on our brains. It damages our brains, our soul, especially if you're starting consuming that content from very young. So observation number two, uh, for every single bottle of alcohol and packet of cigarettes sold worldwide, there would be a warning label. For alcohol it is, drinking is injurious to health and for cigarettes it is smoking causes cancer. Even for video games and for movies, they have ratings that indicate how, you know, like for movies you might have seen, there's a label, parental ad uh, discretion is advised and for video games they have uh, E, M and these kind of things are posted. But have you seen any kind of those labels on porno movies, especially in the beginning? No, you will not. That's what they do. They don't want us to know that these things can get us addicted. And while I was living my life as a Jeffrey, uh, you know, I considered that to be normal because everyone around me used to watch porn. Everyone in my school used to watch porn and all the boys just took it as completely normal and no one thought that it could cause any kind of problem. Even I was also the same opinion. I just watched. I just kept on watching and thinking that, you know, this is who I am. This is what life is. This is how things normally go until I stop to stop doing all that things. And then moving on, when I found his channel, when did I find Hamza's channel? All these successful YouTube influencers and YouTube and TikTok and Instagram influencers, you know, these guys show off their life after they have made it. Okay. So this is there. I don't know if you have seen this recent trend in social media. There will be this rich ass guy who will be living in his super luxury penthouse apartment. He wakes up, he takes his supplements, he goes to his gym in his luxury sedan, he comes home and then he cleans his house and then he does that and does this and everything is perfect. And what this causes is uh, when someone from some other, other side of the world watches these kind of things, what happens is they think that these are uh, unattainable or unachievable, too tough. But you also have to give credit for the to those guys for actually making it. Uh, they worked hard, they achieved their goals and they just want to share that with the rest of the world. It's good. But when you post that on social media, it affects other people in several different ways. Now, when you post a video, you might think, okay, my video might help others. But it's not necessary that it's going to help. It might actually be bad or help others in, a, in other ways. Now this is where Hamza's video come in. Hamza's video just talk about the normal things that are happening in a normal guy's life. 
So Hamza talks about the millions of guys who are stuck at the bottom of the well and they are try- and who are trying to get out. Whereas the successful YouTubers and influencers they show life what it feels like once you have escaped that well. So what did I do to improve my life? So my self improvement journey started in 2020 after the pandemic was declared worldwide and I was at home I was I had to I just lost my job and I came back unemployed and I was searching for a new job I didn't realize that the pandemic would actually you know like go on from there I thought it would be just for 2 to 3 months and we can go back to normal but I was completely wrong and it was during this time that I came across uh, nofap the nofap community on reddit and that's when i you know like started reading all those posts and i admitted my to myself that i was addicted to pornography to a certain extent only to a certain extent because i compared my situation with the stories that i read and after comparing i realized that there are people who are uh, you know suffering from far more worse condition that you know are suffering enough so after reading tons of stories on this reddit on the nofap community i realized that you know i am not gravely affected like these other guys and i just decided to stop watching it and you don't stop watching it suddenly but then you keep on failing 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 or relapsing in the nofap community's words and then you finally you just you know like avoid pornography from your life completely and once i stopped watching porn i started reading books and that's when i realized that during my entire teenage adolescent period i never read a single book instead i was using that time to watch porn once i stopped watching porn i started picking up books and i started falling in love with books again i started reading more and more and more and that's why so reading is one of the most important things that i used to stop you know like watching porn and stop doing pmo so talking about my current life well i'm not perfect but i made a really a lot of great changes and i have currently started a print on demand business and i'm working on that uh, i also i'm currently a part time student uh, and working a part time job but also i find time to do this even though i'm a student right now i also have a part time job i still manage to find time to do my business because i am on a time table and i don't break away from my time table and speaking about women after self improvement journey i now get genuine stares from women and i've experienced genuine attraction so you know like once you stop doing all those things that you used to do and focus completely on some other thing in life your women will be naturally attracted towards you they will come to you naturally and you just have to you know like don't have to look at them instead as i said they will come to you and so that's all for my self improvement journey and i hope my story can inspire someone and help others also and most importantly guys if you are struggling just know that you have got this you will get out of this have faith in yourself and that's it from me bye love you take care